Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, I'm Ella Weed and I create fashion and lifestyle content. Today's video is quite an exciting one. I've just come back from Copenhagen, so I kind of want to talk you through everything that I did in Copenhagen, my great finds. There were so much great vintage finds, so this is going to be a vintage haul and kind of just like what they had in the vintage stores. Like if you actually want to go shopping and get luxury designer vintage, Copenhagen is actually the best place. I found some absolute stills and I would definitely be going back to purchase like because they just had the coolest pieces so yeah please stay tuned for the rest of the video the first vintage store that we attended was actually right next to our hotel so we were super lucky with the location and it was really cool and it was a designer vintage called Jerome Jerome Vintage and it was super cool and super lovely inside like the interior was really nice really clean and sleek and they had some really good stills in there they had like um celine pieces chanel pieces Saint Laurent pieces um really cool brands they had this really nice mm6 margella piece like all these really unique pieces and like all chanel footwear and stuff that you can pick up um, it was laid out really nicely and really like look like a proper lovely luxe store and the prices weren't too bad as well so i feel really, definitely recommend visiting there if you're ever in copenhagen i'll put some b-roll so you can see what it looks like i would definitely recommend i tried on a few pieces so i'll show you how it looks tried on there's some really cool pieces that i've never really seen before and it's very different from what's out there especially if you're from the uk like we have like a very limited design fashion vintage store so it's really cool that they have one just like just for vintage um designer so that was really um great and i really did enjoy this store and i feel like i could have spent so much money in this store so i really limited myself with the pieces that i tried on because i didn't want to tempt myself too much this is a vintage gucci piece really cute knitwear I tried it off the shoulder as well just because it came up quite small even though it was a size medium in Gucci so I definitely recommend this for a size extra small to extra extra small however I thought this actually looked quite cute and I think this is how I'd style it it's very unique and the quality was actually insane this is a vintage jean peachy so it has like the boob shape and then it's like the little over high neck little slip that goes I love the back detailing of this top and I think this is what actually made the top. It had the little JPG little slip and it was just super cute and I think it, this was only £200 as well so it's a really good price. We then went to a vintage designer store again called I Blame Lulu. We ended up going here just by walking down the street which is also fairly close like maybe a 10-15 minute walk away from the hotel and the other vintage shop and it was so cool. This store had like everything you had the christine dior vintage prada vintage all the stuff and some stuff wasn't even that old like they had this really nice acne studios coat that i've been like dreaming after from last year that was already in the like vintage store um it was great and they had such good price points on these so that it was really cool and this was definitely the best vintage store that i went to in terms of the designer pieces and also the best priced so I'd really recommend this store if you're ever in Copenhagen and I definitely would be going back here with a bigger pay, like a big paycheck to spend and cash out in the store. It was just so cool. They had the coolest hills. You can pick up all these like Bottega hills, like whatever hills you want. I mean, in Moadi, like they had them all, which is so cool. Um, so I definitely recommend this store. I think this store is kind of like they just collect pieces that have been kind of worn and then like these rich ladies just don't want to wear anymore because it was all brand new all super good quality and super luxe but it was just um yeah so i would highly recommend this store they also incorporated some of their own designs in the store which i thought was really clever so they had their own blazers their own knitwears I also got to visit the Acne Studios archive in Copenhagen. They have one in Copenhagen and they have one in Stockholm. 
um i went to the copenhagen one it was really cute it was a lot smaller than the stockholm one was so i think i was really excited to go thinking it was like the size of the stockholm one but it was still really cool they had like all these really nice vintage denim pieces not vintage but like archive denim from acne studios um in like loads of different sizes and loads of different colorways lengths and everything which is great so if you actually want a good pair of um acne denim which i think acne denim is actually really good and fits really well they had loads there they have like all these vintage archive um coats from older seasons like leather jackets puffer jackets like loads of shirts a lot of um cardigans and knitwear so it was a really good like vibe overall and i would definitely recommend going because you can find some proper stills and if you're an acne studios fan the prices is like almost 50% off which is great so I would definitely recommend. The staff were also so lovely in there, like so helpful. They had other sizes at the back which they're willing to get you and they were just like made the experience super fun so I would definitely recommend um, that if you are ever in Copenhagen and want to go shopping. I actually made a purchase in the Acne Archive, so I will show you what I've got. Um, I picked up a pair of denim, and for me, I think I've explained in so many videos how much denim finding is such a struggle for me. But I found a really nice pair of denim that I tried on, and they actually got me a new pair out from the back before when I purchased it, which is really lovely of them. So I will show a try on of me wearing it so you guys can see how the fit of it all. But I'll also get it out of the packaging and just do look back a little bit so you can see up close. So this is the denim. It's a really nice vintage blue colour denim and it has this belt that like helps to ruch in which I feel like was perfect for me because I normally have a different size waist to like my like thigh ratio. So this is really helpful when I think it actually makes it so nice and like really ruched and cinched in. It's really beautiful like you can see the different colours throughout this denim and then the back obviously you have the classic acne studio leather patch which is super cute i actually picked these up for 118 pound i think it's a, it's like a thousand coron coronos or however you say it in their currency i'm a bit um difficult with that so the exchange rate was actually really good um, and I know that they're selling this currently on websites online in England and it's currently retailing for about £300, £290. So it's quite a good steal and quite a good like bargain on the jeans and these fit really nice. I actually got the um, waist 27, length 32. Um, I feel like I would maybe tend to go for a length 34 and maybe a smaller, slightly smaller waist. But the way that these fit, because these are very like a wide leg pair of trousers, um, they fit really nice and you can ruche it up with the belt so I would definitely recommend this. They had loads of different pairs in there, um, loads of different colours and loads of different styles so I'd highly recommend going to the Acne Archive and looking if you want a pair of good denim um, for a good price that you know is going to last you a while. For me this is just like such a great cop because it actually fits, I've been looking so much like on the vintage market especially for, like vintage Levi's and I feel like I just couldn't find my size so I'd, it's really good like actually investing in a good pair of denim that's going to last you a long long time so i would definitely recommend these acne studios denim and visiting the acne archive I would definitely recommend Copenhagen for vintage designer shopping. I think it's the best I've seen and it was the most exciting shopping experience and I wish I could have gone for longer and with more money. Next time I definitely will. I think definitely compared to the UK, I think we're very lacking in the UK with like designer vintage stores. I know you can find them in certain areas in the UK and certain stores, but I think um, in Copenhagen there was such an abundance of them, um, which was really great. So I would definitely recommend um, traveling to Copenhagen if you're ever there to actually go vintage shopping and even looking in their charity shops because they have some really cool pieces. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed all of the vintage stores that I've gone to. I would highly recommend traveling to Copenhagen if you ever want to go like really good designer vintage shopping. I think especially compared to the UK, like the UK we don't have that many stores with designer vintage. It's kind of limited, especially within London. Um, but there was such an abundance of stores in Copenhagen, like even the charity stores you just walk through, they had like, the coolest pieces. So I think um, I would highly recommend that. And I think it is just due to the culture in Copenhagen. They're very sustainable. They're very think about um, what they purchase and what they wear. So I think that was super cool. And I would really highly recommend. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and comment below. And yeah, thank you for watching again.